Hello there! These lessons come as part of my software called the Flash Human Anatomy. If you want to purchase my software, please go to my website flashhumananatomy.com. With my software, you get all my lessons, my very own illustrations, and my 3D models. Before you go to my website, please leave a positive comment or just a like. I put a link to my website in the description of this video. Okay, in this lesson, I will talk about the tibia or the shin bone. It is the larger and stronger one of the two bones in the leg below the knee. Here it is. This is the tibia. The function of the tibia, the most important function of the tibia is connecting the knee with the angle joints. The tibia is medial from the fibula. The fibula and tibia are connected with the interosseous membrane. They create the syndosmosis joint with very little movement. In humans, tibia is the second largest bone after the femur. This is the femur and this is the tibia. The tibia is a long bone and as such it's composed of diaphysis and two epiphyses. The diaphysis is the midsection of the tibia, also known as the shaft or the body, while the epiphysis are two round extremities of the bone, the upper and the lower one. Now, if I remove the femur to see the tibia from above, this model is not very good and that's why I prepared some images so we can see it better. Here is the tibia from above. This part here is called the tibial spine. There is a medial intercondylar tubercle and a lateral intercondylar tubercle. This here is the medial articular surface and it's the place where the medial condyle of the femur articulates. This is the lateral articular surface and it is the place where the lateral condyle of the femur articulates. This is the anterior intercondylar area and the posterior intercondylar area. Now if you go back to our model you can see that you cannot see anything that I just mentioned. We can maybe just say that here is the articulating surface in here. The lateral condyle of the tibia has an articulating surface here that serves the creation of the joint with the fibula. If you look at it from the front here, here this should be the uh, tibial tuberosity or maybe even here, the tibial tuberosity. And then below that, there should be an attachment, an attachment for patella. As you know, for patellar ligament actually, as you can see here, here's the patella. And the patella is simply continuing from the tendo of the quadriceps muscle. And the muscle the tendo comes here and it goes on patella and then from the patella you have the ligament that is going down there and it's attached on tibia. If we look from the front, we could say that um, <clears throat> there is a lateral surface of the tibia here and the medial surface of the tibia here. The border is simply placed here in the center of the tibia. Now as you already know, there is an interosseous membrane between fibula and tibia. And that interosseous membrane is attaching on the interosseous border. Now interosseous border is... Um, it simply creates a border. It is called a border because it separates the lateral surface here from the posterior surface of the tibia. And the lower surface of the tibia has the um, 
Malelus process here and it has two articulating surfaces if I remove the other bones you have here the inferior articulating surface malleolar articulating surface here now when we talk about differences in male body and female body uh, in male its direction is vertical and parallel with the bone of the opposite side and in the female it has a slightly oblique direction downwards and laterally to compensate the greater obliques of the femur if you watch my lessons about the femur in my software you will notice and you will hear what I said um, how it has a certain angle because female body is more wide here in the hip area so simply the femur is pushed more laterally the head of the femur and because of that you have the higher angle here in the same way the the, the, the that's why I said that in female the tibia has a slightly oblique direction downwards and laterally to compensate this what we had in a femur um, everything I said about the joints of the fibula of the tibia sorry because it is very important to know that um, for the later lessons where we learn muscles and movement so the femur is here and the tibia is here so it creates the knee joint together with patella then it has a proximal tibiofibular joint here it has a distal tibial fibular joint here and together with fibula because fibula articulates also here and the tibia articulates here it creates the ankle joint so there are four joints that tibia is part of
These lessons come as part of my software called the Flash Human Anatomy. If you want to purchase my software, please go to my website flashhumananatomy.com. With my software, you get all my lessons, my very own illustrations, and my 3D models. Before you go to my website, please leave a positive comment or just a like. I put a link to my website in the description of this video.